everyone, welcome to my channel, Dan's the Engineer. In this video, I'm gonna be showing you a really brief guide on how to carry out a weekly firearm test on a really basic, straightforward system. The panel we have here is a Kentec Sigma panel. It's a two-wire system, really basic, does the job for a very basic property. The call points we have are KAC, CAC, call points, and we only actually have three of them in this property. So I'm gonna be testing one call point because that's the requirement. I do it once a week and I rotate the call points that I test each week because we only got three. Obviously I'm doing, you know, one one week, another the next week and the final one the following week and then I rotate it back again. Now what's really important is that you have your manual call point test key. Now, there's so many different types of test keys out there for all different types of manufacturers, so you need to make sure you have the right one, otherwise you will damage your call point. I've made sure I've got the right test key. All of my call points are the same throughout the property, so just be aware of that. You might have multiple, so you've got to make sure that you have the right test keys. You also need the enable key for the fire alarm panel. This is our fire alarm panel. It's really straightforward. So the first thing we do, this is the user key. There are two keys here, that's for the panel. That shouldn't really be in there. Um, we try to take them out, but obviously don't lose it. But this is the user key. If you turn it clockwise, it will say T1, and that's in user mode, so you can now press these buttons. If it's not turned, these will beep, um, but that you can't actually do anything. You can't, you know, if it was going off, you can't press silence. So you need to make sure that your key is in the on position clockwise and it says T1. When you do that, it will beep every now and again to let you know that it is in user mode, just like that. So, very straightforward. I actually have my call point here. This type of call point doesn't have an LED. It's got nothing, it's, it's really straightforward. So what I'm gonna do now, I've got my test key. This is the right one. It's a two prong type that goes into the bottom. You push it up, then with your thumb, you pull that down. The sounds are going off. I take the key out. I push that back up. I go to the panel. I press silence. You can mute the buzzer by pressing that. Now zone two has been activated. See the red LED light is lit up there. Um, I am testing zone two. This call point is in zone two, so I'm making sure that it's setting off the right zone. So that's all straightforward. It says fire. Uh, it says alarm, fault warning and silence. That has said that because I've pressed this button. So that's all straightforward. I have reset my manual call point by pushing it back up. I have to do that first before I can do anything else. So I'm now gonna press reset. All back to normal. Once completed the test, I'm gonna put my test key back into normal mode. And that concludes the test. Now once you've set off your fire alarm, you need to walk around to make sure that the sounders are sounding everywhere that they should be. You need to be familiar with your system and where the sounders should sound. Our system isn't that complicated at all. Some might send a signal to the alarm receiving center or it might trigger door holders or something like that. This system doesn't have that. I'll cover that in another video, but this is really, really basic. It just comprises of a few detectors, a few call points, and that is it. So what we're gonna do is put our test key into the call point. We're gonna activate the call point and put it back together, so reset the call point. So as soon as the sound has sound, it's been activated, that's when we reset the call point and put it back together. I'm then gonna go to my panel and check that the panel's in fire, it's lit up in fire, and the zone light that the call point is in, this is zone two, so I'm making sure that that red LED light is lit as well. Once I've confirmed that, I'm gonna press silence alarm, which will silence the sounders, and then I'm gonna press reset. Now if, for example, you didn't reset your call point, as in put it back together, and you try to press reset, 
the sounders will go off straight away again. So you need to make sure as soon as you set that core point off and you hear the sounders is to reset it. Once I've completed the test, I'm going to note down in the logbook what core point I've tested, the date, and if there are any defects. There wasn't any defects on this one, so we're just gonna say it's all okay. I hope this video has been useful. If you've got any comments or queries, please leave them in the comment section below and I'll try and get back to you as quick as I can. I do have another video on Far Along Weekly Testing which is much more in detail on sort of more complicated systems whereas this is just designed for, you know, really simple basic fire alarm systems. If you haven't done so already, please subscribe to my channel and give it a thumbs up if you liked it. Bye.